Hey guys, welcome back to Decorating with Barbara. Today, we are on another outing. It's a beautiful day in Kansas. It's not raining and I wanted to go out and buy some fresh flowers from Trader Joe's for my home. And I wanted to bring you guys along. And since two of my favorite stores are in the area, I will be making a quick trip to our house and Pottery Barn. And then I'll meet you back at my house to put together the Trader Joe flowers. Now, if you guys are not familiar with our house, it is a beautiful high-end store. They have a little bit of everything. They have rustic decor, a little bit of glam, and everything in between. So take a quick look around. I'll meet you back at my house. And please forgive me for the long video, but I really wanted to bring you guys along. So I hope you enjoy the outing.
Okay, so Pottery Barn is right next door. So we're gonna pop in Pottery Barn. Okay guys, so we are back here at the house and I am going to share with you how I style some of the grocery store flowers in a rustic modern design. Now I'm down here in my basement because my grandson is upstairs sleeping and when I'm done with the arrangement, I'll take it upstairs and show you how it looks in the kitchen. Okay guys, so I picked up a few different bouquets of flowers. Mainly, I wanted to pick up greenery and then just add a little pop of color. So this little floral bouquet was all in one bouquet and these were fairly inexpensive. The greenery packs were $3.99 and then the floral was uh, $6.99 and that's pretty inexpensive. Now, I did have a little mishap and so all of these flowers would have cost somewhere around $20, but the yellow flowers that came with this bouquet um, got left out of the water and they didn't make it. So I went to my local grocery store and picked these up. So that took my price just slightly over $20 for all of the flowers you see here, which is not bad at all. Now, I mentioned that I wanted to do like a rustic bouquet and so for that I like to use a minimal amount of flowers and like I said before a lot of greenery so I like to add things in there with texture like some of the sticks you could do pussy willow and you could do curly uh, branches or you can do some something like this and then sometimes I like to add succulents and you could add faux or uh, real. And then berries always, I think, just kind of liven up a bouquet. These happen to be faux, but you can see there are some real berries that came in the one arrangement. And I probably will switch the red ones out for this more softer magenta color, um, just because I like the softness of that one better. So it is totally okay to mix faux and real and you're going to see me do that now so I'm going to start with my um, large rustic container and that is another way to 
bring in that rustic look is your container. Now, if the rustic look is not your style, then you can bring in something like a farmhouse container, or you can just use the glass, which is always classic and elegant. So use whatever style that works with your okay, decor. Okay, and so, um, yeah, I didn't do this in advance. I'm just kind of going on how I feel. And um, basically kind of, you know, arranging flowers is like an art. So this will go on the island and then I think I'm going to make a smaller one for my coffee bar. Okay, so let's put this aside and then I'm going to work on one more. Okay, so here is one more look before I take them upstairs. And then these down here, I wanted to point these out. Well, first of all, this is what was left over and I'm gonna use that upstairs on the coffee bar. I don't throw anything out. And then these little pots, these pots here, I was inspired by an arrangement that I saw at a model home. And so this is why I take you guys to model home so you can get inspiration and maybe do some of these ideas in your own home. And this was in the recent set of model homes that I shared maybe a week ago. And all I did was place some Spanish moss inside and then just added some other different type of moss in the green and in the natural color and then added a like sedum which is i believe a form of, of a succulent and i just love that magenta color and then there's a succulent in this one i hope you guys were inspired and let's go and see how they look in their place Okay, and so here on the coffee bar, I kept it pretty simple. I just added a few little roses that fell off 
the stems and some greenery. Okay guys, so this is the smaller one and I was able to try and revive the smaller roses and um, yeah, and put them in this vase. So I think those look nice and then the other one single rose I put in the larger vase. And so guys, I'll share the rest of the entryway with you guys in the next video because I want to show you how the chandelier turned out. I did end up putting it here in the entryway. And so we will see that in the upcoming video. And then I'll share the rest of the second floor entrance as well. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you guys at the next video. Bye-bye.